Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I want to talk about something that I've been thinking about that would make a great addition to the game and I want to present to you an idea that I think would add so much to the Stormworks gameplay. It would add to the building as well as the gameplay as well as just add a whole new element to the game. It would expand on something we already have so it wouldn't be that difficult for the developers to add this aspect but I do think that it would add to the game as a whole and kind of create a different bit of mindset for everyone that is building things and going about the environment. And that is to expand the idea of these horses and make them much more interactable than just petting. Now, it is nice to pet our little friends here and make them feel all good, have them not kick us. So here we are in our stable. And I could see I have three horses as well as one in the back of my trailer here. This one's a little restless just because he's in the back of the trailer. He doesn't like being there. But these guys are good. They're just hanging out. So what I would like to do to add to the game to make it that much more interactable for everyone and make them almost a useful part of the game. Make them so you can use them to accomplish missions. And how I propose to do that is you make the horses, specifically their heads, almost act like a little rope anchor. See how I just attached that? So you'd click here and that rope would attach to our little friend. And what you could do then is pretend this is attached to the horse. You can guide it and you'd walk and it would get kind of drawn along with you. You could pull on it pretty much. And what that would let you do is you could actually attach horses to carriages. So you could make a carriage, instead of using a car, you'd make a carriage that can get pulled by a series of horses. Um, in addition to just having them attachable with this rope anchor, so pretty much to have reins, you'd be able to sit on them. So you'd press sit and just like a seat, would act in my car here you'd press f and you'd be sitting on the horse and you could use w a s d to just walk the horse around kind of like red dead redemption but in this game you can actually walk the horse so you'd be able to move it around you'd sit on the horse and you'd get it so you can pretty much ride it into the back of this trailer or ride it into the barn or ride it off into the distance now, it's up to the developers to think how they would implement food. Like, see here, this horse's health is a little drained because it kind of bounced around in the trailer. Maybe would, the developers could add a new um, equipment, like carrots, <laughs> or some type of, even just call it horse food. And you don't use the, the health pack on the horse, but you'd rather give it food, because now, can you heal it? You can. Okay, so we healed up the horse. But I would do it so there's horse food. And rather than the health just slowly draining from it getting injured, it would actually, when you're nearby a horse or a des domesticated horse versus one out in the wild, you'd actually, or even just when you ride it. For example, when you ride the horse, the health slowly goes down. So then you have to replenish its health by giving it horse food. Now this one's calmed down. Oh no, it's going to pass out here. So, you'd pretty much give it horse food and let it, um, and then you could ride it. And the nice thing about that is that you'd be able to um, utilize it in a game in the sense of even accomplishing missions with your horse friend. Because I know you could put a dog now in the passenger seat and you could have a dog pet and all this stuff. But this way it would give you the ability to not only ride the horse to accomplish missions, but you'd have a, almost a, a manual or non-technical fallback to just to enjoy the game. Now, in addition to that, you'd be able to build a contraption, for example, a horse-drawn carriage that you can, um, I don't know why that one kept running and going crazy. You'd get a horse-drawn carriage and you can have your horse-drawn carriage be um, pulling your horse. Now, how that exactly would work in terms of steering and stuff, I don't quite know but you'd be able to um, utilize that horse and 
maybe make a, make it work. So maybe, maybe instead of a rope, it would be a cable anchor. I don't know. It's, I know it's unrealistic. It's not a robot. Or honestly, why don't they just add a new, a new uh, equipment? Instead of a rope, instead of a cable, it's literally just called reins. And these reins can attach to the horse and to any rope anchor or even have a rein anchor. But I think a rope anchor is better and to these guys. And it would also have its own composite. So in the sense of a horse-drawn carriage, run free my friend. Instead of a horse-drawn carriage, um, well, you'd have your horse-drawn carriage and then in your seat, like your driver's seat, it would be attached via composite cable to the reins of any horse connected to that certain um part so in theory you'd have one or two or more horses attached and when you sit in your carriage seat and use your regular controls it's attached via this reins and pretty much pulling and you control them so you do WASD and you can control your horses so that would be a cool almost cowboy like element to add to the game in addition to just adding a new part as and I mean th this can be taken out to the next level where you could have horse missions you can go rescue them you can go put them in a trailer you can go save them to the horse hospital or animal hospital so it could add a whole next uh, segment of the game in addition to just being um, a lot of fun and you'd have it in the back of your you could hire a horse to the back of your like in the back of your trailer and drive it around and take it out on the wilderness maybe go do some missions on it probably two people could sit on a horse so you sit and then you'd have a passenger seat on the back of the horse that you can just uh, utilize as well so that's kind of what i'd imagine this horse um, update would be I, it wouldn't be a dlc in my opinion it'd be an update now i'm not going to make a video probably about it but i would honestly do the same thing with huskies and sleds so you could then utilize huskies and make dog sleds up in the arctic where you have a husky drawn carriage or sled now maybe all dogs could have reins or leash maybe leash is a better way to call it leash instead of rope or reins so you could then walk your dog instead of just carrying it and putting it in your seat you could actually put it on a leash now, obviously, people can abuse that. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of this game. You can do a lot of things to abuse a lot of things, so we're not going to get into that. But just as far as the technical aspect of having a horse and having a carriage that you then can actually m maneuver using our little friends would be kind of cool. So I do think that would be an interesting update for the developers to consider. So I'm throwing it out there. As always, don't tell me, please, please, please don't tell me, oh, this is so useless, I'd rather have this, I'd rather have that, I'd rather them fix the game. Don't say that, I've always mentioned, that's not why I'm making these videos, I'm making it to sort of bring into perspective and bring ideas to the developers that can potentially add new elements to the game, as well as a little bit of fun. So, there you have it, there's my little video, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more, stay tuned for content, all that good stuff, and as always, happy Stormworksing, everyone.